I'm going to show you the formal British way to eat a double dip. Now, in polite settings, one should never, ever double dip. But all the rules go out the window if you were indeed presented with a double dip at a formal British setting. Double dip is a confectionery produced by Swizzles Matlow. It is very popular in the United Kingdom, Australia and even Germany. I'm an 80s kid and the double dip reminds me of my childhood. In the 80s, it reached the height of its popularity. The double dip consists of two sachets of powdered sugar and a stick to do the dipping. The idea came from the company's desire to produce a distinct, unique, attractive and interactive sweet to enjoy. It's been a mainstay in UK sweet shops across the United Kingdom for the last 30 years. In a formal setting, the chef would absolutely prepare this before it was placed on your plate. One would never likely be given paper along with the sweet. If, however, it's chef's night off and you yourself have to prepare the double dip, I'll show you what to do. Firstly, we want to decanter each sherbet section into the ramekin in front of yourself. Taking the scissors, I'm going to cut off the corner of the first sherbet side, making sure that I don't cut both sections, otherwise there will be contamination between the two sherbet dips. I now decant the first sherbet into the first ramekin bowl, pouring delicately to ensure that there is no spills. I now fold the first section of sherbet across and now cut the second section of sherbet to release into the second ramekin. I now neatly pour the second sachet into the second ramekin. Finally, I release the main event, the swizzle stick. Taking my scissors, I now cut across the top of the packet for a final time. I now remove the main event, the swizzle stick. Slowly slide the stick out of its packaging and then place it on top of the ramekins. And here my dessert is ready to be consumed. Delicious. On my left I have the cherry flavoured and on the right I have the orange. I now pick up the swizzle stick I now lick the swizzle stick. Now, because I'm in a polite setting, I most certainly do not do this in a way that could cause offence to any of my guests at the table. I insert the swizzle stick into my mouth and now I gently and discreetly suck the stick. Now I place it into my chosen sherbet. Dip, rotate, swizzle, Gather the sherbet onto the swizzle stick. And now is your choice to either suck or bite. I'm going to suck. Mmm, yummy. I repeat the action, this time demonstrating the little delicate bite with the orange flavoured. It is acceptable to lift the ramekin if you wish to help aid with the gathering of the yummy sherbet. But be careful not to let any fall onto yourself or the plate. Once you have gathered the appropriate sherbet onto the swizzle stick, you may now take a neat, delicate bite. I place the swizzle stick into my mouth and take a neat, delicate bite. If you're feeling particularly adventurous, one can combine the sherbets. I take the first ramekin, pour into the second ramekin, and now I have a beautiful mix of flavours within one. And again, I repeat. I enter my stick into the sherbet, give it a swizzle, and then suck or bite as desired. How do you like to double dip? Let me know in the comments below.